applied map, and it compares that applied map to the location of nozzles on a spray boom. Every 50 milliseconds, we calculate the, the position of every nozzle on the sprayer and compare that to our applied map. And if uh, there's a state change, meaning uh, a nozzle has come into an applied zone or out of the zone, the controller will send out a uh, CAN message to the CAN network, and our nozzle controller, or well, CAN controller, will recognize that information and take appropriate action. In this case, on the sprayer, meaning it will turn a nozzle on or turn the nozzle off. Um, we've had extremely good uh, success with the system. It's very reliable. This show is our first unveiling of it. We've been working on it for two years now, and this is the first time the public has really seen it, other than our early adopters in our closer our local hometown. Um, but it's been very well received. We're seeing results of uh, increased um, or decreased spray use by at least 15%, especially on small farms and small acreages, uh, because of the overlap. We uh, have proven that we're down to less than 1% overlap. Um, and a local co-op uh, confirmed that for us. They have our system along with a uh, eight control system, and uh, they do this for a living. They have all the uh, actual acreages, and their controllers are coming out exactly with what the uh, major acreages are. So they are paid for their system within months. Great. Um, what the uh, right now our current system does strictly on-off control, where it'll turn this nozzle on or off depending on what the um, the applied map tells it to do. The software and hardware is also designed to do individual rate control at an individual nozzle. And the way we accomplish that is we'll take a, a rate map generated by any number of companies, load it into our controller. This send out the GIS information out to the broadcast it out to the CAN network. It also will broadcast out the vehicle state information, meaning uh, location, speed, heading, uh, rate of change of heading, meaning how fast you're turning, and it broadcasts that out to the CAN network. Our modules are smart enough that they will listen to the CAN uh, network and then they will, based on that information, they will calculate their own duty cycle for each one of the uh, nozzles. And what that allows us to do is that since the uh, rate of change of direction of heading is part of the state information, um, like a nozzle on the inside boom that's not moving near as fast will modulate at a different rate than the one on the outside, so you get uniform coverage all throughout. Um, that's for the sprayer. Now, like I said, our controllers, our can controllers, were not designed for a uh, sprayer or anything. They're a generic uh, can device. Um, and what you do is, uh, this is the can bus, and you just daisy chain as many as you want along there. So it doesn't matter if you've got a 10-foot boom or a 200-foot boom. But this also works with planning equipment. So it will drive anybody's actuator or receive anybody's sensor data. So at this show here, we've talked to a number of people that have mechanical devices to drive grain boxes or corn at variable rate, but they really don't have the control technology. Well, this box here will, like I say, it will work on anybody's actuator, electric, pneumatic, whatever, and also accept the sensor data so we can do true uh, variable rate at a row basis on uh, planning equipment. So we've been very well